Welcome back to Trans Guy Reacts. This is Nick. Uh, I make videos about women's basketball, collegiate or professional, and today I'm going to talk about the May 15th WNBA game. So this is a recap. Um, if you like to support this channel, I'm always uh, happy to have uh, people who care about women's basketball uh, liking, subscribing, and sharing the videos always helps grow the channel. Uh, if you have comments, I don't allow comments on my videos because I don't really care what your opinion is. Most of y'all who leave comments are negative, and I don't have time for that. Make your own channel. Um, so getting into the games, <coughs> um, we have the Sky versus the Wings, which was the first game. So the Chicago Sky versus the um, Dallas Wings. And i uh, love to see Cheryl Sweeps um, on the call. Uh, Cheryl is a legend in the game. She is... Uh, was she the she was in the first years of the league she was on the houston comments um did amazing things and uh, love to see her with her expertise she's usually right on uh, the money in terms of analysis she gets a lot of hate sometimes because she says the truth and she's a black woman so whatever that's your you know your loss your hate whatever don't care what you think uh but yeah she was on the call love to see it uh, but you get into the game, I love that Jalen Brown uh, got on the final roster for the Dallas Wings. Uh, she is a buck. She's technically a rookie, but she's played overseas for a few years, and she's also from Cal. Um, I am from California, from the Bay Area, so got to represent the Cal folks. Uh, she didn't play that well. Um, she broke her nose recently and had a face mask on, so she wasn't maybe playing her best game. I don't even think she made any points uh, in this game, but... It, it, it's time for adjustments for all rookies, you know. It's not going to be easy for anyone. Speaking of rookies, uh, Angel Reese got the start. Um, she was really slow in that first two quarters. Um, she had two personal fouls in the first quarter and had to sit. Very, very rookie behavior, not surprising. All rookies have an adjustment. Um, for the Dallas Wings, I noticed that they don't have a true point guard. They didn't really keep any point guards on their team for the training camp. Um, so Arike was pulling up the ball a lot of the times. Yes, I guess that works. Um, the other rookie on the team on the team for Dallas was J.C. Sheldon. Um, she had a foul on a three point shot for Marina ba Mabry at the end of the first quarter, like right at the buzzer, basically. And it was like, oh my gosh, rookie, rookie, rookie's doing rookie shit. Uh, but it's fine, you know. She's a really good defender, so you can't like hate on it. She's gonna make her mistakes. It's fine. Um, at the end of that first quarter, it was twenty five to sixteen, um, Sky. And then uh, Dana Evans for the uh, Chicago Sky was doing Dana Evans things. She really has become like this really great uh, point guard. Um, a great improvement from last season. Love to see her playing. Uh, Natasha Howard uh, for the Wings uh, had this shot, this really hard block on um, Kennedy Carter, and she hit her in the face hard. Uh, but you know, it was just like in the act of the of the block coming down. So a lot of physicality in the game, and that's just how it is. Uh, Carter uh, came down real hard. She was down on the ground for a while, and I think did she go out of the game for a few minutes just to collect herself? She might even had a black eye. I don't know. It was it was a pretty hard foul. Natasha Howard is a very strong person, tall, lean, and strong. Um, speaking of Howard, her and Tierra McCowan were going off it was so fun they were doing blocks they had great offense it was like an amazing uh for the whole game not even just the first half of it they were just killing it on the floor uh, Rike with that long pass across the court to Howard and that was crazy it was like she what are you a, a freaking uh, quarterback that's crazy and then um and then uh Rike had this crazy shot right after trick shot right after it um the post players for Dallas, I mean, that's the focal point. Obviously, they don't really have any point guards. There are not that many short people <laughs> on the team. Uh, so it's all about the post players. They are they were killing it. Um, I love seeing Arike Agubuale play against Marina Mabry on the Chicago Sky because they went to Notre Dame together. So it's, like, very competitive, very fiery but it, and fun, but it's also cordial. Like, they'll go at each other, but then they'll, like, help each other up or they'll tap each other on the butt or whatever. They're super nice to each other. So I love I love to see the competitiveness and the um, and the like I don't know what the word is basically um, camaraderie you know they're 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 really respectful. Um, Angel Reese got some fouls <laughs> and not and she got she got fouled a, she was getting fouls like people were fouling her and she was going to a free throw line and I think she went like three or four times and the ball was just not falling for her but you know just not the best start maybe. Um, Arike also had three fouls at the end of the, third, the second quarter. And I was like, what the hell, Arike? What are you doing? 
get it together. Uh, Tierra McCallan uh, at the half had 16 points, 10 rebounds. She had a double-double at the half. What the hell? Um, and, uh, and she was the only player in double figures at the half. And so it was 43-40 at the half, but it was sky up. Um, and then Re Angel Reese finally gets her first field goals because she only got like one of the free throws. Uh, she got her first field goal in the third quarter. Um, and then she started playing a lot better. In the third and fourth quarter, she actually started playing like Angel Reese. And I was like, oh, she's getting it. She's figuring it out. It's going to take time. All the rookies, that's what all the vets have said. And they're absolutely right. It is a transition period for the rookies. They will play well, but they're not going to play great. In the beginning, there's going to be some hiccups. They're going to do rookie stuff. They're going to make bad plays. They have to adjust to the game. And then over time, they will get better. By the end of the season, they're going to be playing great. But in the beginning, yeah, you can, you can see it. It was, ooh, terrible. Um, and uh, uh, this game was tight the entire time. It, the whole game was going back and forth with Sky and, and um, Wings. Um, the, the vets were going hard, though, for for uh, the Wings, uh, Natasha Howard, Goomba Wale, and McCallan. They were just playing lights out. Um, then freaking Angel Reese gets her fifth foul on Arike, um, who immediately right after hits a three. And then right after that gets a steal on Marina Mabry. <laughs> She was going off. Arike was going off in the fourth quarter. And I know there's been, like, some criticism of Arike about how she kind of loses steam in the fourth quarter. She's a better, like, first-half player than a second-half player. But she was proving people wrong today. She was going off. Um, yeah, there's a dog barking outside. There's nothing I can do about that. Um, if you can hear the dog. I live in Mexico. It is what it is. Anyway, Reese, she played really well, but she did some rookie shit like getting all those early fouls, but you know, I love her defense. She was actually playing defense and it was great to see. Um, I was thinking, going back to Arike, I was thinking, and, and, and Marina Mabry, um, how, who, you know, for the, the Notre Dame people, who are you rooting for? Like Neil Ivey, Muffin McGraw, like who are they cheering for? <laughs> this is like, who, who do you cheer for? It's, it seems really hard, I don't, I don't know. Um, the final of that game was 79-87. So the Wings came back, they dominated, and they ended up winning the game, even though sh the Sky were up for most of the game, and it was just like neck and neck. Uh, for the Sky, uh, Diamond to Shields, Angel Reese, Elizabeth Williams, Marina Mabry, and Dana Evans all were in double figures. Uh, Marina and Elizabeth um, uh, almost uh, had double-doubles, really close to it. And then the Wings, uh, you had uh, Howard McCow and McCowan both have double-doubles. Arike and Maddie were in just double figures. So, <laughs> fantastic game. Um, the second game, you had uh, the Atlanta Dream versus the Los Angeles Sparks. This game was in a gym in Long Beach. <sighs> Very disappointing that it wasn't at Crypto Arena, where they're usually at for the Sparks. I'm, assu I'm assuming... Uh, there was a conflict with crypto. There's probably some concert going on or something like that. Um, but it's like really disappointing to see a professional game in a college gym. That's just not the vibe that I'm looking for to watch these women go at it. But whatever, it is what it is. Um, Azare Stevens for the Sparks was out for an, with an injury, and Jordan Sparks was out for the dream. Funny enough, Jordan was tr traded to Atlanta for Ari McDonald, who went to Sparks. Very, very interesting. Situation, I don't know why they did that. Jordan's like one of the best point guards in the league. It's kind of dumb, but that's it. That's what uh, Los Angeles chose to do. Um, Cameron Brink had an interesting game. She was doing rookie shit. Um, she got a foul in the first minute and 30 seconds into the game. <laughs> but she did redeem herself like a couple seconds later and got her first uh, points of the game. Uh, and then um, I did love seeing... Uh, Lexi Brown on the floor because last year she didn't play that much because she was sick and she didn't know why she was sick and it found, she found out later that she has Crohn's disease so uh, like back in November so after the season ended so I'm glad she knows what's wrong with her she can treat it she's uh, still working through it but she's she's back and better than ever she was playing really well tonight uh, Cameron Brink fouled Tina Charles like how you, go, you can't she, Cam has to she's got to learn when to attack but you know she's a rookie um, but it was like not even four minutes into the game. So it's like she had her second foul four minutes into the game. Just rookie, rookie shit. Uh, Rakia had a moving, came in right after Cam, and then she got a moving screen as soon as she came into the game. Rookie shit. Just, <laughs> it's fine. I mean, there, she's working it out. Uh, she'll, she'll get it. She'll figure it out. Um, Ryan Howard 
was consistent as always. She she was all she always delivers. She plays well. She plays hard. Gets a lot of points. You can always really rely on Ryan. Um, and it was a close game in the first quarter, but there were so many turnovers in the beginning of the second quarter by both teams. So there was like they were just playing too fast. Um, but I think uh, the dream took a timeout and, and the both sides took a breather and got it together. Um, and then Tina Charles went off because she's she's doing Tina Charles things. People forget about Tina. She's amazing. She's a fantastic um, post player, but she got forgotten when she was at New York. And then when she started playing on other teams, it wasn't like the right vibe. Uh, but now that she's back, she's better than ever. Um, Cam, was, like I said, was playing really good. She had some assists, and she even had a three in the second quarter. She had a couple more threes later on, so she was playing great. Um, Rakia had a steal and then got a first layup at the buzzer at the end of the second quarter, so that was a pretty nice way for her, like, first few points in the league. Um, and they were tied at uh, 48. Uh, 48 all. So both it was 48-48 at the second half. At the uh, half. Cam... Uh, in, uh, I'm just going to skip the third quarter. Cam gets a moving screen in, and gets her fourth foul in the middle of the third. Uh, no, sorry, this is the third quarter. She gets a moving screen and gets her fourth foul in the middle of the third quarter. <laughs> it's just like, oh, my God. Uh, but she did play well. She was just, like, fouling. It's just, like, the tell of her college career. She, she fouls. She doesn't – she's not taking the right uh, – right – defense right you know she's blocking at the wrong time and blocking everything that comes her way um kaylee jones started getting consistent with her threes and she played really well in the third and fourth quarter i love Haley jones um she's also um she's on the atlanta dream and she also went to stanford so it's another stanford uh product and i think her and cam played together i'm pretty sure they're like some crossover there because this is Haley's second year i think she got drafted last year yeah, no, yeah, so they definitely played together, so that's kind of nice to see. Um, and then uh, Lasia Claridon was all over the floor. They were playing fantastic ball, and they had their first triple-double, so it was super exciting for, for LA. And then um, I would say LA was fighting really well up to the end. It was, it was a close game the entire time, but, like, the dream, uh, they, they put it together. They, they, they put it together, and they ended up winning the game. I actually don't remember the score. I didn't write it down. Um, let me look it up real quick, because I forgot. Totally forgot. What was the score? It wasn't too terrible. It wasn't great. Um, it was 92 to 81, so they lost by 11 points. Uh, and that was really the last couple minutes of the game. I would say the last two minutes, uh, the dream just literally ran away with it. So the Sparks, uh, Kia, um, Sorry, Kia, 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 uh, is that right? Yeah, Kia, I don't know why, I was, I'm thinking Kia uh, Vaughn. Kia, Kia Vaughn is a, is a coach, well, no, that, she's not even in the W <laughs> anymore. I love Kia Vaughn. Kia Nurse, um, Cameron Brink, Bierka Hambry, and Leisha Clarendon all had double figures, and then of course, uh, <laughs> and then Lasia Clarendon uh, had her first, had, sorry, had their first triple double with eleven points, ten assists, and ten rebounds. Fantastic game. The dream though ran away with it. Um, Ryan Howard, Tina Charles, Alicia Gray, and Haley Jones all had double figures, and then Tina Charles had a double double because that's what Tina Charles does. And then uh, Cheyenne Parker Titus almost had double figures with nine points. So they were just. All over the floor, a lot of great games. I mean, everyone was playing really well. It wasn't a bad game at all. It's just um, Dream came up on top. Um, love to see it. It's been a fantastic first couple of games, very much veteran-led. The vets are doing their thing, and the rookies are figuring it out. They're not playing amazing, but they're not playing bad. So is that a win? I think so. <laughs> I think so. They're playing as good as they can play. Uh, but, yeah, that's uh, that was the breakdown, the recap of the May 15th games. If you like this coverage, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, I don't allow comments. I don't care what you think. Um, if you want to share your opinions, I would love for you to make a channel. I want to see more people out there talking about the women's game, but I don't really care for the peanut gallery and the trolls, so there will never be a comment section here. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for supporting. If uh, Like I said, if you like it, please like it. Please subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Later.